Hello everybody, Helkrex here, and welcome to another Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 287. Yep. And today we're going to be talking about the Nexus 25-ton mech. Uh, has a lot going for it, but a lot not. Alright. The Nexus. As I said, 25 tons. It's a 7.11.4, so it does have some jump jets to get over some obstacles. Not much, uh, but better than nothing when it comes to a light scout mech. And, well, it's going to need everything it has. It has 10 double heat sinks come on the engine. It has, you, you wait for it, 2 tons of armor. Yes. 36 points. Just enough armor to keep the pilot from falling out. Yes. We have like four points of armor on the head. Let's just say you get hit in the head with a large laser. The pilot's dead. Just plain and simple. It's a dead mech. You hit this thing in the center torso. Let's say with an ERPPC from the clans. Well, it's dead. Seeing there's a trend here. You hit it in the right or left torso, let's say with a standard PPC or an Intersphere ER PPC or an AC-10. The mech's dead. All right. Yeah. You hit it with uh, pretty much anything. Uh, you're taking an arm off. A large laser will take an arm off. Uh, you hit it in the leg with a PPC. Leg's blown off. So basically you have a mech that's going to die horribly just by being shot once. And when in the era of 3058, when there's so many targeting Peters and pulse lasers and all that fun stuff and clan weaponry floating around this mech dies a horrible death hey that's part of the uh uh the whole fluff of this mech is that they had so many of these mechs dying that they had to go back to the drawing board and figure out whoa what we gotta do differently but hey let's just move on yeah it's like yeah let's get the ugly stuff out of the way first right all right, but it does have ferrofibrous armor, hey, and into the steel, so it's got all the goodies with it. You know, it's like XL engine, endo ferrous fibrous armor. So you'd think that, yeah, this would be not a bad mech, but yeah, okay. Now, it, this what this mech suffers from is too many weapons. I'll just put it that way. All right, it has an anti-missile system in the left torso with a ton of ammo. Okay, all right. It has a medium, standard medium laser in the left arm. It has a medium pulse laser in the right arm, medium pulse laser in the left arm, a small laser in the left arm, a small laser in the right arm, and then we have the two jump jets in the left and right torso. All right. And that's, that's a lot of weaponry wrapped up into this thing that well too many things make it bad it's like you know hey let's put all it's, it's kind of it's worse than a glass cannon uh it doesn't have the firepower per se to to dish it out it has a lot of weapons but you know it, it's kind of a mech that you don't take it anywhere near where there's other mechs you might uh, want to take it against infantry, maybe some battle armor, but even then your life expectancy isn't going to be long against even battle armor. It'll tear this thing up too. Especially if it's, you know, yeah, it can handle those uh, like stand, standard elementals. Yeah, you might be able to handle a few uh, uh, turns against them if there's a large group of them. Yeah, you're, you're done. You're toast quickly. Yeah, I just... Uh, you, know, you probably get the idea that I'm not a big fan of this thing. So, when you have all of your weapons, the biggest 
the baddest weapon you have goes out to nine inches and that's your medium laser and all it, it takes is a even standard mechs of the uh, inner sphere with standard large lasers and standard ppcs will tear this one a new one all they got to do is connect once that's it connect once and this mech is going to be either whole body parts ripped off or it's dead because you hit it in the torso with a standard uh, uh ppc you killed it it's like it doesn't matter if you uh you got past the armor you got into the internal structure and beyond it's like it's done so i've had many games where it's, it's like hey this way like, well even the last game that we just played we had uh, mechs and it's like, okay, I need, I, don't know if I got energy weapons. I, I need 11s or 12s to hit. Okay. I'm just going to send it because it, all it is is energy. It costs me nothing. I'm, I'm not going to overheat or anything. Why not throw it? Throw it down range, see if anything sticks. And you do. And so it's like, hey, hey, whoa, I got an 11 and a 12. There goes you know, a whole bunch of damage on a mech. And next thing you know, that mech that was moving really fast because it was light still takes a bunch of hits. You know, that's the nature of the game. You know, sometimes you can roll all day and never get 11 or 12. And then sometimes you just like, oh, they're right there. Or rolling two 12s at once to hit. I've done that before where it's like some light mech comes rolling by and it's like, hey, well, all I got is an AC-20 on my vehicle i need a 12 to hit and yeah what the heck it's a it's got a whole bunch of it. it's a vehicle it's probably going to die in within a turn or two anyway just whoa and then next thing you know you, you roll that 12 and that's a dead light mech that's what you have to deal with when you're if you want to play a nexus that's that's it it has so many drawbacks on it that I just have a hard time even thinking about taking it to the table. Now, when you think about it, it's got a little over six, less than 650 for the battle value. But to me, there's just a bunch of standard light mechs of the inner sphere that run about the similar battle value. Why would I would take this thing? I don't know. All right. I, 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 Personally, just give me a spider. I'd rather take a spider over this thing any day. All right. It's just like, ah, no. All right. Now, we have used a Nexus before in games, but it's you know, the variance. Kind of, there is some variance of these things. All right. So then there's the Nexus B. All right. This one has two ER medium lasers and a ER small laser and uh, has a C3, uh, improved C3 system on board. Comes in a little, little less than seven, a uh, little over 700 for your battle value. But it has four tons of ferrofibrous armor. So basically they up the armor on this thing, which, hey, that's what it needs. With four tons of ferrofibrous armor, you're running around, what, 72? I think it's 72. Let me look here. Yeah, 72. You got 72 points of armor. That's not bad. Uh, but, you know, you still, you're looking at uh, right arm, left arm, ER medium laser. So at least shoots out to 12. It's a 7.11.5. It's running now into the same category as a uh, a Jenner. All right. And then we got the C3 improved system. Okay, now you're looking at Word of Blake. At least they took some of the problems they had with it. Give it some armor. That's fine. Uh, it's running, what, I think half a ton short of, well, maybe a full ton, almost a full ton. If you put another half ton on it, it might make the difference of making it maxed out. So at least it can handle a couple hits uh, here or there. Still has the same problem with uh, 
everything, but this one only has a standard fusion engine, not the XL engine. So it can sort of zombie out if possible. So they did make some improvements on it in that department with the, the B version. Now, then they went to the drawing board again, and then there's the Nexus 2, basically the same mech, but they did some changes to it. And then instead of having the XL engines, they got the light fusion engine on board. Okay, so if you lose a torso, it can still keep on going downrange and disengage, save the mech from just a one-shot kill. Uh, all right, so... It does have um, more improved speed. So with the light XL engine, it went to, um, uh, what do you call it? Mm, it's an eight. Yeah, there we go. I have to do the math in my head. Improved the, the speed a, a bit on it. Uh, you got that route going for it. Now, uh, what it has on board for weapons, it has two ER medium lasers. So basically, you take it to be improving it a little bit with, you know, they went with the light XL engines. And then you have two ER small lasers, improved C3 system. All right, so this is another Word of Blake uh, mech. Uh, and you're running around 700 battle value with it. So there, so improved speed, and but the armor on board is a little bit less. It doesn't have the four tons of the B. It has the three and a half tons of the on the Nexus too. So there is a drop in armor, but you now they increase the speed to keep it a little bit better. You know, keep it alive a little better, even though to be honest. Uh, you're not gaining much. You know, you're gaining some speed, but uh, your three and four modifiers are going to be pretty much standard on board. But that's the thing, is that you, know, you didn't gain much in that department. Then you had the Nexus 2B. And this one has uh, more electronic warfare Remove the two small lasers and all the jump jets, and now it has a Guardian ECM, TAG, Beagle Probe, Stealth Armor, and this comes in a little over 700 uh, battle value. This basically is your recon, pure and simple. It's like it's been with Stealth Armor keeping it alive at the, uh, and you're using the, your speed plus uh, the Stealth Armor to prevent it from being hit is like you're running out there finding targets tagging them uh not trying to get too close and setting up a your ecm bubble to take out any artemis or even other c3 systems that might be running around and shutting them down and then you're using your them as the eyes and ears type of thing so there and okay then we have the star python uh this is the upgraded clan version of the original nexus it uh, um has the jump jets have been improved uh so now it has one er medium laser two improved heavy late um heavy medium lasers and two er micro lasers anti-missile system and it still has the uh double heat sinks and four and a half tons of reflective armor now okay so you had to upgrade the armor a bit so there overall um not a mech that i would go out and say hey you gotta get one no not necessarily at all uh some people might like them uh they're what we did in our um We've had we got one when we were playing in our the Word of Blake campaign, and let's see if I bring this one up. Um, where is it at? Is that it? Yeah, it has um, two ER medium lasers, two small lasers, anti missile system. Actually, three ER medium lasers, and then uh, the two medium, small lasers and anti missile system. Seven Eleven, and you took that. 
downgrade those two uh, medium pulse lasers and gave it two more tons of armor. So it's got 72, so at least it kept the live stand and fusion engine. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but the, the standard A version does have a standard fusion engine. It doesn't have the light fusion engine. But, yeah, it's, it, this is a Mac, the standard version, the original doesn't have enough armor to begin with, and there's had no reason for putting those two medium pulse lasers on it at the expense of armor. And I'd be even more inclined to drop even another small laser in favor of another half ton of armor on board. So that at least upgrade it by nine more. That way, yeah, you can at least take some hits. That's the, the biggest problem with the, the standard mech, the alpha version. It's like, you just hit it, it's dead. That's the biggest problem with it. All right, so uh, Nexus, in a nutshell, is, for me, it's always been a big pass. Now, when you're facing off against the Word of Blake versions, uh, they, they could take a hit or two, but a lot of times we're playing with more advanced equipment, better pilots even then when we were playing against the WABs or using it as, uh, on our side of the WAB, they just had to keep it moving and keep it off running the edges. That's in one the later in the game when things got tore up enough that uh, they were fully engaged and better firing solutions were found elsewhere. This is when the mech would come diving in and start doing some damage. Until that point, you kept it off out it at medium to long range all the time and moving as fast as possible or else it was dead and it was like oh took a shot oh dead one shot one kill type of thing all right so that's it hope you guys like it like and subscribe share with your friends and we'll see you in the next one Elk Rex out